so long since I did a video on like yard sale finds, thrift store finds, and since I kind of quit making my haul videos, I thought I would just show you a few things I've gotten over the summer, maybe the past year, at thrift stores and yard sales. Um, Cooper is asleep there under that blanket on the couch. That's why that's a mess over there. Um, and I wanted to explain the exercise equipment because that might look kind of strange in a living room. I had started intermittent fasting in April and it has done such wonders for me. I mean, I lost 40 pounds, but I would do it even if I didn't lose any weight. I just feel so good doing it. Um, I was walking, I was able to walk this summer every single day. Even in the heat, I just would walk laps around the yard, but I knew this winter I kind of wanted to do something to stay active. We have a treadmill in the basement. We have weights and weight benches and things in the basement that we just never use. We never go down there. So I thought if I bought this sleek little bike and kept it in the living room, you know, it's just, I just sit here and watch TV or get on my iPad. It makes the time go really quick. It had a tracker, like a battery operated tracker, a big screen. And I just had my husband cut that off and it still has the little tension knob, but we took all the stickers It had like caution stickers and just ugly blue stripes all over it and I just stripped it down and I'm perfectly happy having this sit here because I use it every single day even if it's just for 10 or 20 minutes I hit my setting on my watch for indoor bicycle and I just do a quick workout every day and I absolutely love that and the same with this this stepper I got for two dollars at a yard sale I got it this summer and I used it a lot and it has helped with leg pain. It's just done a lot for me. I think it's helped build muscle. It has really good tension. And like I said, it was $2. So I would like to paint it all white. And I'm thinking about doing that because if it's in this room, I will use it. You know, we have an elliptical, a treadmill, and a weight, a whole weight system in our basement, but we never go down there. So I would rather have it sit here and not look so good, but knowing that I'm gonna use it, that works for me. Um, I know I've gotten, let's see, a few other things in here. I got this nest picture at a yard sale for $2. So that was really pretty. I got this clock. I got two of these at a yard sale. We did away with having like a VCR or even a cable box in here. It used to sit on this table and I missed having that digital time. So this has just worked out really well. It's, um, I don't know, it just kind of blends in. It doesn't stand out too much. And then over here, I think the only thing that I, oh, I did get this heater at a yard sale. I buy these all the time. I, we have one in all of our bathrooms. They're just so nice when you, you know, are taking a shower to turn these on. I have one in our bedroom and I have one down here. If we plug this in, it heats this whole room in like 10 minutes. These things are wonderful. I love those. I, and yeah, I got that I got that at a yard sale, probably $10 or less. I got these books. I got this stack and the one I just showed you. Um, I saw an inspiration picture. It just kind of inspired me to stack things with old books. And I got a new Roomba this year, this summer at a yard sale. I get these anytime I find them. I buy them. I resell them. But this one was a little nicer than the one I'd had for like three or four years. So I sold the, the white one that I had and just replaced it with that. Over here, I think the only thing new from a yard sale is this candle and it's mercury glass. I thought it was so pretty. And over here, I got this pot at a yard sale, probably for a dollar. Thought it was really pretty. And I think that's all in here. Oh, that table is new. My Lazy Boy couch and chair are new. I got this tissue box holder. Um, one of the kids at school got me a $25 gift card to Target. And I saw on Instagram that people were buying this and using them as a tissue holder. And it's just a little piece of pottery. And I thought that was so cute. So that's new, you know, not thrifted, but <laughs> new. And here, this is the part of the kitchen where I showed you my tree with the ironstone butter pats this year. Um, I think the only thing new in here, or thrifted, I should say, thrifted or yard sale, are these cloches. I've been really into decorating with cloches this year. One over here, I got that one at Home Goods. 
But, oh, and this tray, this beautiful tray I got at a yard sale in this white ironstone pot. That was a really good find. I love finding pictures at yard sales. I almost always buy them if they're white. I just can't resist them. And over here, I got a beautiful piece of pottery. Isn't that so pretty? It's a little um, colander. I thought it was just too pretty. I will use it, but it was just too pretty to put in a cabinet. And I got another one over here by the back door. Um, this was one of my favorite finds all summer as far as decor. This is a good size pottery handmade pot and I just thought the colors were so pretty. And I know that yellow flower was from a yard sale as well as the plate. And I just hung that up here recently. I took down a sign that had words. I'm kind of kind of getting over all the things with words. <laughs> I still have that big piece on there. That's kind of a big statement piece. Not sure if I'm still liking that as much. Thinking about what to do there. Okay, over here, I just got this beautiful plate from a Goodwill in South Carolina. We were there over Christmas and I thought that was so pretty. I love the design of that. And I was like, where can I put that that it can be seen? So I had shutters here on both sides of that window for years. I took those down. Um, I got this candlestick at a yard sale. I got this little greenery also at a yard sale. And it matched this one that I think I got this at a thrift store. This one, and they just matched so well. Okay, in the dining room, probably a few new things. Um, over here, almost everything you see here, not the piece of furniture or the big picture, but everything else is thrifted or yard sale. Um, this, I know this gray piece in the back is new. I got that for $5 at a yard sale. I didn't know where I was gonna put it, but I knew I'd find a spot because I really liked it. But my ironstone pictures, thrifted or yard sale. I think those are both yard sale. And these cake stands. Um, over here, this chair. It matches my table, the legs, the you know, the wood part. So I have it over here just as a backup. You know, when you have an extra guest. I have folding chairs that I pull out so I don't have to keep six chairs in here. There wouldn't be a good good enough room in here for that, but I can just pull that one over and then just bring out one of my folding chairs when we have company, which is really nice. And I'm sure that this is almost everything you see here is yard sale. Um, I know this little brown thing that I have these bowls in, I got that for like a quarter and it matches these. It's like the bottom of one of these. It was a perfect match. I'd ordered those from Amazon and when I saw that, I thought, well, for a quarter, I'm just gonna get it and I'll find a way, I'll find a way to incorporate it into the dining room. And then over here, one last thing is this beautiful floral piece. It looks like it's made out of an old book and I got that for a dollar at a yard sale this fall. It still has a tag on it that it was made in um, Tennessee. It was from like a, a store in Tennessee. I was at an estate sale this summer. It was probably my favorite sale of the whole summer. It was a, a lady in her 90s had just passed away and her kids and grandkids were holding this estate sale. Me and this woman had the exact same taste. We would have got along so well. I went back there. They had it every weekend and I think I went for a month and I think I went to three out of the four weekends. And every time I was like filling my car with things. She had so much iron stone, so many butter pads. I was showing this family <laughs> All these pictures of what I do with ironstone and my butter pat tree and we ended up talking enough that we had each other's like Facebook and I shared my tree once I put it up this year and just a really really neat family a neat house and I would have loved to know the lady she just seemed like she'd been fabulous but they have these bells of sarna from India and the granddaughter said these were on my grandma's door every time you walked in her house She's like, this sound just reminds me of her. I can't even believe I'm selling these, but you know, they could only keep so much. And I thought, well, I'm going to get those and put those on my door. So I want you to listen how it's just so charming. So every time we opened the front door and the back door, I went ahead and got a set for the back door. I ordered them from eBay so that, you know, the 
either way, coming or going, you're going to hear those bells. I thought that was so charming and just wanted to share that with you. I think thrifting is so fun. Um, just You just find such treasures. I've got Peyton's prom dress. We just got it this week, and I need to order shoes and earrings. So I'm just leaving it down here until I get that done so I do not forget. Um, April will be here before you know it, and we'll have everything ready there. Okay, this is when you're leaving the kitchen to go out the back door to the left there, the garage. Um, but I found this beautiful lamb's ear wreath for $1 at a yard sale. And I just thought that was so pretty. Just gives that whole area, because it's just so kind of bland. It just gives it a little touch of green. I really like that. And I think that's all I have to show you today. So thanks for watching.